welcome you lovely lot this is Laura from Freckles on the Inside you're watching this to get an idea about how to use our friendship band kit um, this is the kit it's a nine centimeter circle um, with eight slits around it made out of pretty robust wood um, you may have used these with cardboard before and that was basically the inspiration for this kit what I was doing is uh, like you all making your circle, cutting your slits in and your hole. So it should have been a really lovely little time with my girl. Um, however, mm -mm -mm, the cardboard wasn't, was bendy, which was annoying her. The slits kept getting a bit more torn. That was annoying her. Um, it wasn't quite solid. That was annoying her. My circle wasn't perfectly circle. That was annoying her. So what should have been a really nice time ended up borderline World War Three because I was trying to get some work done. I had to cut six of these out and it still wasn't good enough. So my lightning bolt moment was let's create, this is a wooden structure so you can use time and time again. They're quiet time and time again and you can have some downtime. So this is it and this is what your kit comes with. I'm going to show you, I've already made one up here, it's a bit Blue Peter-esque, so that I can show you how to make a sliding knot at the end. Um, but I'm going to take you through the simple steps um, of how to start it off and the steps you need to go to. I did have another lightning bolt. It's been, well, the weather's been pretty random anyway here. So moment um, yesterday when my two were arguing about which which circle was their circle or oh, anything right it's anything they can argue about so i got them both to doodle on theirs so it's one craft given two energies two two crafting joys so you can do doodle both sides saves up gives up uses up more time and obviously then if you've got more than one in the house you know whose is whose so you've got seven lengths of thread you want to make these um about an arm's length so fairly long that you can see this is this is fairly long it's 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 quite a long piece it's about a meter I guess um but again I suppose the longer the better because you want to end up having leftovers rather than not having enough so grouping all together they are going to go through your central hole you might need to wet them a little bit um to go through and then once they're through you want about 10 centimeters this way or maybe maybe 15 around that time and a really loose knot the loose is key here because you're going to undo that when it comes to this point here can you see it's got no knot no knot on the end so the loose looser the better really um so that's how you start it off and then all you're going to do is get each one of your threads and pop each seventh thread into the individual little spaces okay so that's three. So there's eight little spaces. So you'll be left over. You'll have one left over for now. I have just realized this possibly isn't the easiest way for you now to see what I'm doing with my tattoo-esque shape. But it's so simple, honestly, you'll, you'll get it in no time. So I'm gonna hold it a bit closer. So you can see all of your eight slits down the side. Seven threads have gone through and you've got one clear here. Can you see I've done my nails all nice for you? appreciate them for the moment because that's not been done for about two months right all of your threads are going to come at the bottom what you're going to do is you're going to always have your empty slot at the bottom you're going to count up one two three and your third one is going to be picked up and brought into your empty when you pick it up make sure you then pull it all the way to the base to, to the thread goes all the way through your fingers that's going to stop it getting into a really annoying awful knot at the bottom once you've done that once you then twist it so you've got the empty slot one two three and you're off again you hear that pulling it all the way turn one two three and round it goes pulling it again all the way to the end turn one two three and honestly that's as easy as it gets turn now, without a shadow of a doubt, if yours are anything like mine, you'll hear, it's not coming through, why is it taking you so long? And cries of those. But it's one of those things, it, t it takes quite a while for it to start coming through, but actually, once it starts to, to gather up speed, it, it, it comes up quite quickly. It makes up quite quickly. And what's going to happen, I'm not sure if you've had six, I haven't really done enough. Let's see if I can 
do a few more to show you um is that the the brand is going to come out of that little central hole down the bottom mine's getting a bit more knotted because i'm sitting on the floor um <laughs> so if you're sitting on a chair and it's hanging down the gravity will really it won't be getting knotted as long as you're pulling the thread all the way through to the um to the end of the thread and also it'll start to come up here can you see that it's raising up a little bit so every so often what i've been doing is pulling pulling the very base tail one two three turn it around and you know what's i mean i'm a bit of a hippie anyway so what i tend to do when kid, the kids are doing this is putting on a little bit of chilled music we we burn quite a lot of incense and essential oils so have that on so try and create the environment for it to be really nice and peaceful for them because it is such a nice little make and if you can get them into the zone into that repetitive nature it's going to give them the headspace that they they need right now and i absolutely promise you that you'll be making some as well because it's really it's easy it's really satisfying um and it's not just kids who need that space, yeah? We need that headspace just as much as they do at the moment. So I think that's quite special. Right, and let's see if you can see it. So there you go. Can you see? It's just starting to come out the bottom there. Um, for kids, I make them about 10 centimetres. Obviously bigger for adults. You use your own wrist to measure that. If I was making it for my nephew, who's a, uh, a rugby player, it would be like 50 centimetres long. His arms are huge. Um, so now let's have a think about your end point. If you're going to put a bead on it, so I've taken when you when you're ready. So I should finish that off properly. When you're all done on your length, you just unpick all of these and then pull it from the bottom out. So you just would pull that. Mine's got all knotted because I've thrown it on the side. But yeah, so you just pull it all the way out, and and you're done. Now, here is my finished band can you see uh, we're also bringing in some non-rainbow colors for people who want to create it but aren't overly keen on the rainbow if you want now if you're using a bead you can thread a bead onto it so again just tie that or, ch or charms sort of whatever whatever you got um or you want to put on or you just have it i mean i've got mine without anything on or why is it when you want it to thread it's never going to do it um so this is another one for my little girl she wants an anklet she doesn't want beads so you just do it like that now your options for tying it are really easy uh, when i did mine all i did with mine is i just put it around my wrist and tie the double knot and um, you can make a sliding knot though so the way we're going to make that is wrapping it like this so you've got you're encasing those into each other now you're going to get another piece of thread to so use one of your leftovers longer the better because you know um it's better to have more make a little u shape so a short end and a long end and this will be you i would suggest doing this not them place it over the top like that you see and then you're going to wrap this so you've got your little tail here you've got your long end of thread and at this point i've got my u here the base of the u holding this down and then I'm just going to slowly wrap this around and around this is actually a macrame knot it's really neat and around like this I would do that oh sorry just not the camera I would do that about 15 times if you can I'm going to make it slightly shorter so this video doesn't go on and on and on you don't want the threads to go on top of each other kind of sitting next door to each other is ideal and it, you want it fairly tight, but not really tight. You'll see, you'll see on the threads. Mine's looking not particularly neat, but you know, this is live tutorials. And I'm sitting on the floor with my arms wrapped around a camera. It's not exactly um, BBC production techniques going on here. So can you see? And then when you've got about enough that's you would need a little bit more than that but i'm just trying to keep this fairly short you get your end and you'd loop it into your v okay so that's into your u there's your u and you're going to take this and you're going to pop your end into here so, 
Sorry. <laughs> it's so much easier than this, I promise. I'm just making a really bad job of it. Uh, through there. And then, this is where the magic comes in. I actually, I really love this macrame knot. You're going to get your other end, so that's your... And then you're going to pull those, and that knot, do you see, this knot here is going to go into here. Do you see? And that's why you want it generally a bit longer. And then you can cut those ends. And then you can work out now sort of how long. And see there, it's just sliding knot. What I am going to do on this one, cute, is tie a little knot at the end here so that it doesn't always slide all the way off. And same on the other end. And then it will open and it won't go past those points, so again you can obviously cut those there. There are loads of other ways to do sliding knots. I like this one. I think it looks neat. I'm sure there are simpler ones out there. Or, you, as I say, you can just tie a knot in it. So, yeah, it'll slide on. Slide on, slide off. And there you have it. Your little rainbow tutorial. Um, again, I haven't tied that very neat. But I would normally have done that a lot, a lot longer. And there it is. Isn't it just lovely? Um, really colourful and joyful. And that should oh, it's not going to fit on mine. Better not. She'll kill me if I if I break this one. It's not worth upsetting the firecracker. There you go. So I hope you have loads of fun making them. It's certainly something we've enjoyed doing um, and sending out to people, and they appreciate getting them. Stay safe. Take care, and um, hopefully see you again for another tutorial. Lots of love, everybody. Bye.